Hello, welcome again to our channel. Um, this is Pastor Learning Consulting, and my name is Tisha Jaziri. Now, let's look at um, how to square numbers that are close to um, 100. So, if you watch the if you watched our video on um, squaring numbers close to 100, um, you will like it because it's the same method um, than like squaring numbers close to 1,000. Okay, so let's have a look at this and um, uh, let's see some examples to understand this method. So let's go. So suppose you have, um, so let's say this is A and you want to say to find to square 9, 996 square. Easy. So again, here the most important thing is, like I said, is to look at the difference. What's the difference between 996 and 1,000? It's 1,000. So you realize that. So the next step you're going to say is going to say 1,000 minus 996. Remember, I'm just writing this to demonstrate because if you're doing mental math, this should be easy for you to master. So you should be in a position to master this immediately. You look at this number and you have an answer. Like if you look at 996, you already know that the answer should be um, around 900, 992, okay? Um, and then uh, 16 at the end, okay? So here, remember this one is 9,000. So what you're going to do, you know here, the answer is then four, okay? So what you're going to do is like, we're going to have four squared, which gives us 16. So 16 is going to be the last part of the answer, okay? And then we're going to say 996 minus the same form that we have here. So it gives you 992. So since this is in hundreds, we're going to just add here zero and then 16. So this one becomes your answer. 992, um, 016 becomes your answer. And it's not because we are having this answer, not because, um, not because we did so much, you know, by multiplying 996 by 996, no, but knowing the logic behind it, and the secret behind it. So if you look at 996, you know the difference is uh, from 90, 996 and 1000 is only four. So you know that you have um, the first part of your last part of your answer 16, and then um, you take the same four subtracted from 996, you have 992, and since it's in hundreds, in thousands, you have um, 992 and 16. So this one, this method makes calculation becomes very easy, okay? So let's look at maybe uh, um, another number and for that I will take another color so that we have a clear distinction okay so what kind of color should I take here so let me take then white so um let's try another number so let's say you have a number like um 900 so this one becomes our B, okay, so 976 squared. The same procedure applies. Now, the most important thing is that you should know, um, normally I say you should know your table up to 30, like you should be able to say, what is 30 squared, 29 squared, 25 squared, you know, up to one. And when you know that, um, everything becomes easier because for example, in this case, we are having um, 24 squared, which is uh, 576. So if you know that, so you want to know what's the difference between 1076, that is the first step. And you know um, that we're going to have 24. So 24, we're going to square that 24. 24 becomes our, um, the, the difference. And then you know that is 576. That one will, be, will become the last part of the answer. Now, the next thing you're going to do is the same 24, we're going to subtract it now from here. So we're going to say 976 minus 24, okay? So what we're going to have here is 952, okay? And since it's in hundreds, you just drop this 576 down, 576, and that one becomes your answer. You see, there's no struggle. It's just like them, you just have to understand the method, and then you're done. Then you're done. You don't have to do, like, you're not struggling with anything. You just drop that. And um, the good thing is, like, when you look at this number, you are seeing the answers, okay? You're seeing the answer, okay? So um, this is the good thing about mental math. You're seeing, um, you're seeing that you have, um, that if you square these numbers, you get your answers immediately. So this, for me, is the most important thing, something I like about mental math, okay? So let's go down and let me just bring this one down still. Um, okay, that's 92. Um, I just want to bring this so that it's, um, okay, it seems like it's carrying the same. I don't want to do that. Oh, okay, I know why that is happening. Okay, anyway, let's get to another number. Let's, um, I will take another color so that um, 
we have a different um so let's let me just take yellow that we have a different example so i want us to do c okay so let's have c and let's say that the number assume now the number is above 1000 so the same procedure works like we did with 100 squared so if you have if someone tells you what is 107 i want oh sorry 1007 square the same procedure okay so what you're going to say look at is What's the difference between 100 so 1000 so you have 1007 minus 1000 because that's our difference number so here you have seven now the next thing you're going to do is you're going to take that seven and then square it and then have 49 okay so this 49 becomes the first part of the answer and then like the last part of the answer or it will basically appear on the right side of the, the answer and since we are talking about thousand so it's going to be 0 49 that then we just carry the same and then the next thing we're going to do is to uh, because it's a positive it's uh, beyond 1000 so we we're going to add 1007 plus 7 because that's the difference so we're going to have here uh 10 one four okay now what we are going to add here is basically 49 okay so we're going to say just pull this one down so that you have uh so then we're going to have four nine zero four nine so in this case we're going to have one million fourteen and forty nine okay so that one becomes your answer easy 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 so if you use the same method um let me just extend that one here and do another one that is beyond um so the same would happen if you have uh 1000 and let's say 12 where so let's just do this one quick so we know that this is going to be 10 24 okay and then you have 12 square 12 is the number beyond 1000 so we are going to have here if you square 12 we have 144 so what are we going to have to have i is actually um wait uh, uh, trying to get the rubber <laughs> and it's not taking so let me again go back to my pen and cancel that so what you see now you know what is 12 square because 12 is the difference so what you're going to add here is basically one four four you see now you have one one forty four and then you have that easy okay this is how um calculation becomes easier and you can always i uh, use this short shortcuts to do your calculation now remember we are faster learning consulting we are based in kenya but because we are global we do online classes and if you want your uh, kid to learn mathematics let them join us report to us and we are going to do this mathematics and uh, yes so um, i'm going to teach them how to do shortcuts um we also normally organize boot camps on how to do um this to do uh, mental maths we also help with speed reading we help kids learn how to speed read better, like to read very fast um we also teach the kids memory skills like skills on how to retain what you've learned if you like this video please share with others and um, subscribe to our channel and let's look um let's uh, meet on the next video thank you so much and be blessed